click and see and share and cooking tutorials welcome like comment share and subscribe welcome to the sauce doctor we are take over tonight sauce doctor sauce doctor welcome back to adrian cooking and food review wagwan sauce doctor fam welcome back to another video so I took the weekend off, relaxed, and I'm feeling a lot better now. I'm not 100% there, but the energy better. So we come back today with some delicious grilled chicken bacon club sandwich. No, it's not really a club, but that's what me all call it. So it's grilled chicken glazed with a sauce doctor, bacon, spicy mayo, lettuce, tomato. Ooh, ooh, baby. And we're going to get some extra sauce doctor. We have some spicy mayo, onion rings. So we're going to eat. Let's pray and then we're going to dig in. Most righteous and eternal Father, as we come before in your presence, so that bless the food, bless the hands that prepared, let it be of nourishment to my body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. So today we're going to be talking about, you know, shopping in Jamaica. <laughs> Sorry, tradition of a drink. Cheers. Drinking some orange juice. Mm. I'm trying these all the onion rings. I cook them in the air fryer. Mmm, yeah, not bad. You definitely have your crumb. Mm hmm. So, if you want to get the sauce doctor, hit me up on Instagram at sauce doctor. Or email me at saucedoctor at gmail.com. Look at our sandwich. I need some more sauce doctor. Mmm. Mmm. The lettuce might look weird. Get that back. Mm -mm. These are juicy too. Mm -mm. It's chicken breast, but. Mmm. Look at that. Mm. Mm -mm. So, a lot of people tell you you can't get juicy chicken sandwich using chicken breast. First step is not to overcook it. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. So what I did, I butterfly the chicken, put them in thin, nice, even strips, and then Season them up nicely. And then I cook them on my griddle pan. Now I didn't cook them for long, probably like two minutes on each side. And then I put them in a glass bowl and cover them up so the steam can finish cooking them. And then I put them back on the griddle, that juices that drip from him, pour it over him, glaze it with the sauce doctor. It's delicious, more. This is juicy. Mm. Look there. No dry chicken around here. Dip that in this sauce. Uh... Mm. Mm hmm. And then we got that brioche bun from Aldi, baby. Mm. This chicken is so juicy. Mm. Wow. These onion rings are actually pretty good. Mm. 
I'm going to finish one of these and then we're going to talk about the topic. Mm hmm Mm. Wow. This is it. Mm. There ain't nothing like homemade. Mm -mm. Homemade. Chicken sandwich. Mm. 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 So, <clears throat> mm. so <laughs> I remember growing up in Jamaica and my mom used to send me to a shop, well, supermarket, and she said, go buy sliced fish. And now we go to the grocery store. <laughs> And I said to them, I said, sir, my mother said she want three pound of sliced fish, but she don't want no head nor no tail. Now, if you know Jamaicans, them not have no filter. None at all. They ain't worried about that you're spending your money. So you know the man asked himself, and say, you know any fish when I have no head now that I'm <laughs> saying, you have to get a piece of tail or you have to get a piece of head. And if you don't want that, you can't get no fish. Um I used to be so upset me like I have spent my money so all the hell you tell me, sir. I have to get a head and I have to get tail. Ooh. Sorry. And I was so excited about coming to America because, you know, in America you get what you want. The customer is always right in America. So, but then, again, me, as a business person, I start to look into it and I'm like, damn, I get their point of view because if everybody come and say they don't want no head, no tail for them fish, then the, the, the seller going to end up with all of that and they're going to lose money. So you know what they do in Jamaica? To solve a lot of these problems, them charge you more money for the part of the fish. Mm -hmm. And then them sell head by itself. And you can buy tail at a cheaper price. Which is a smart idea. Y'all see this sandwich? Y'all see it. Wanna see all that juice is running down? Oh man. This sandwich is so loaded and so juicy. Mm. And this is a mm. this onion rings cooking the ear fry. The air fryer is such a lifesaver because I wouldn't want to be eating all this grease. Mm -mm. Mm.
This chicken is so juicy. Mm. So, not only Jamaicans are like that. I, mean, I don't know if because a lot of the Asians come to Jamaica and they have business and they probably catch on to the Jamaican type of living. But my mother used to go to downtown Kingston and buy wholesale stuff and come back and sell. Now, when my mother used to go at home to go buy stuff, and the stuff where they say I sell like hot bread. And you go in there, you're not a regular person at that place. You know what them do? Them say, them are married the stuff. So you have to buy something that hardly I sell in order to get the stuff where I sell like hot bread. May I tell us, man, Jamaica uh -uh, is the place to be. Ooh, but <laughs> I think a lot of you would get frustrated about the living in Jamaica. But then again, if you're a tourist, they don't treat you like that. All right, I'm going to finish this sandwich. These onion rings are very filling. That's why normally when I come on here, with sandwiches, I normally don't bring no sides because this is a star. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But guys, it feels so good to start to feel better because boy, I don't know what was going on with my body. But I was hot, lousy, and I didn't have C19, so I don't know. Must be something in the ear or what. I don't know. Or maybe I just work too much. <laughs> mm. But maybe that little story wasn't that interesting. But I think for the people who really like to learn about cultures, they would appreciate that. Mm. Well, I never used to like that as well. Mm -mm. And then you know what's so funny? Because I'm so accustomed to that type of living in Jamaica. I remember one time I came here. Well, no one time when I came here. When I just came here, me and my dad and the family went to TGI Friday. And I ordered this burger. Um, the burger wasn't my favorite, but because they know Jamaica still. Can't really send back nothing. And... You're never right. Hmm. Me now, I say, all right then. Don't name up the burger. My father said to, you, said to me, say, how was your burger? I said, me never really like it. <laughs> he said to me, say, never do that again. If you don't like something, tell them you don't like it. Let them give you something now. So it tells you, you know, when you come from a certain culture, you will suck up to a lot of different things because you're so shy about it, you know? But yeah, this sandwich is. Mm. It's so good. Better full.
this was fun food delicious everything turned up so guys i want to say thank you so much for watching if you like the content you've been here before and you still haven't hit that subscribe button what are you waiting for go ahead and hit that subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss a brand new sorry upload and as always say share with your friends share with your family share with your neighbors don't be selfish because they want to be a part of this fun and personality Please don't click off the video just yet because you want to be serenaded by the one and only Silas Mukbang. Thank you, thank you for today. Love you guys and I'll see you in the wa next one. Peace. <laughs>